My name is Philippe Bedard, and I'm a medical oncologist in the BRAS Drug Development Program at the Princess Margaret Cancer Centre in Toronto, Canada. This is a video learning module from the ESMO Translational Research and Personalized Medicine Working Group on the topic of tumor heterogeneity. The effectiveness of many new targeted anti-cancer drugs is based on the identification of individual mutation differences between patients, known as interpatient tumor heterogeneity. It is now well recognized that many cancers that start in the same part of the body and look the same under the microscope can have unique mutation profiles. Similarly, cancers that start in different parts of the body may share the same oncogenic driver mutations. Intrapatient tumor heterogeneity refers to subpopulations of cancer cells with unique genomes within the same patient that can be found across spatial regions within the same tumor, between metastases within the same patient, or that can evolve under the selection pressure of treatment or through the process of metastasis. Advances in next generation DNA sequencing technology have allowed us to begin to understand and apply tumor heterogeneity in a clinical setting. Much of the focus of current clinical testing is on targeted gene sequencing panels that can interrogate tens or hundreds of clinically relevant genes at the same time in the same sample. There are many considerations to testing in a clinical setting. Identifying patients who are most likely to benefit, deciding whether to use an archival tumor specimen, which may be readily available, or subjecting patients to a fresh tumor biopsy for sequencing purposes. Identifying the correct panel to use that can generate clinically meaningful information uh, using limited amounts of tumor DNA that might be available. Whether testing is performed in a clinical or in a research laboratory, trying to annotate variants and generate a report that is clinically meaningful in a time that is relevant to apply to patient care. Many large European and North American cancer centers have launched personalized medicine programs that apply targeted sequencing to clinical tumor specimens. There are also a number of large international clinical trials that are ongoing that use molecular information to assign patients to targeted treatments. Intrapatient tumor heterogeneity poses a challenge to the development of personalized cancer medicine. Sampling a limited region of a tumor biopsy or a single block from a surgical resection specimen may not adequately capture the heterogeneity within a patient's cancer. For example, it is increasingly recognized that many prognostic and predictive biomarkers that are routinely tested in a clinical setting may be discordant between the primary tumor and the metastasis. Only the most aggressive subclones may survive under the selection pressure of treatment or be fit for metastasis. Genomic assessment of intrapatient tumor heterogeneity involves multi-region sequencing of the same tumor or sequencing different metastasis in the same patients, as well as analyzing tumor specimens in a sequential manner over the course of a patient's treatment. This can be difficult to achieve in a clinical setting. Circulating tumor DNA, or ctDNA assessment, is a non-invasive method of sequencing fragments of tumor DNA shed into the bloodstream. Changes in ctDNA levels may reflect response to treatment or disease progression. Increasing representation of specific mutant alleles in the circulation, which may have only been present at a minor frequency in the primary tumor, may reflect clonal evolution and suggest new treatments to overcome resistance. Advances in next generation DNA sequencing and bioinformatics analysis have allowed tumor heterogeneity to be assayed in a clinical setting. There are many unanswered questions that remain. The focus of future research is trying to understand how tumor heterogeneity and the assessment of tumor heterogeneity can be used to individualize patient treatment.